Today I'm going to show you two interfaces in the MySQL I Server Behaviors extension for Dreamweaver, the Data Modeling tool and the Query Builder that builds MySQL I record sets. These tools are useful for building complex MySQL I queries without having to hand code. To follow along, you will need a site defined in Dreamweaver CS6 or higher, our MySQL I server behaviors extension installed, a MySQL database, and a PHP page open in Dreamweaver. If you do not already have a MySQL I database connection created, you can do so from the databases panel. Click on the plus dynamic MySQL I connection. Go ahead and name your connection into your credentials and select your database. Always test your connection before clicking OK. Next we will set up the joins in our database using the data modeling interface. Joins are how relationships between database tables are implemented in a SQL statement. In Dreamweaver select WebAssist database, model database, and select the MySQL I connection we set up. I'm using a database architected for a full e-commerce store, so I will model the relationships in the order process. I will drag out the orders and order details tables, the users and user groups tables, and the products table. By putting my cursor next to a column, I can click and drag it over to a column in another table, then let go to create a join. For instance, order user ID in the orders table relates to user ID in the users table, and so on. Once I've created all of my relationships, I click OK. Now we can create a query as complex as we need it. In the Server Behaviors panel, click WebAssist, MySQL I, MySQL I Record Set. Name your record set and select your connection. Click the Query Builder button. The Query Builder interface will open. As you drag out tables you want to use in your query, the joins are remembered from the data model you used and automatically put into your SQL statement. If you want your query to get all of the products ordered on a certain date, you drag out your orders and order details tables and select the order date. You can see the relationship is remembered from how we set it up in the data modeling interface. To test your data, click OK and then click Test in the Advanced Record Set window. We will re-enter the Query Builder and let's add the Users table so we can see the first and last name of the user who completed the order. Once again, we can test this data and we can see the columns added displaying the first and last name. Next, we can drag out the user group table and check user group name to include that in our query. Let's go ahead and test that data as well. Now we have a very complex query written obtaining data from all these various database tables and we didn't even have to hand code. If you are a hand coder and want to manually edit the SQL statement, you still have the ability to do that down here from the Advanced tab. Click OK when you are finished with the Query Builder, then click OK in the Record Set interface and you will see your record set added to the page. 
You can also double click the record set in the server behaviors panel to make edits again. Switch to the bindings tab to begin dragging bindings and displaying data from your record set on your page. Now you are off to a good start with displaying data from MySQLi record sets. If you have any questions, we offer unlimited technical support at www.webassist.com.